Hey everybody, it's the Walrus, and I am back in the grow room with my peppers and mittens, the kitten. How you doing, kitty? Well, she's about eight years old, but we still call her a kitten. All right, so we'll start with the old stuff. Shishitos, looking fantastic, growing crazy huge and tall. I've had to, I got rid of the paint cans because a friend of mine said, Are, what is the effect that having paint cans so close to your plants might have? And I don't want to take that chance, so I replaced them with cardboard boxes. And just keep lifting things up higher and higher um, to accommodate for the, the canopy being so tall. But we still can't get them outside yet. Indiana is just bipolar as heck. I did take this guy outside and immediately it dropped all of its leaves and some of its flowers so I brought it back in to re <laughs> restart basically get it back to health because it dropped everything by taking it outside one time so everything else that's inside is looking fantastic and just to show you I've got a happy little <laughs> leaves are getting in the way got a happy little bud right here or a happy little uh, pod look at that guy just hanging out happy he's about two days old on that pod right there and hopefully we'll see a lot more of those coming around with all these flowers oh look we got a little one here oh, right there we got a little one started too a little shishito pod and that was not here earlier today when I came in and did a little watering so we have got some serious indoor growth starting and uh, hopefully we'll see a lot more pods pop up on the shishitos which start here and take up the entire back row um, here we've got the uh, oh, that's a shishito as well where did I put the orange bell oh here's the orange bell right here and I want to keep them under the light so that we can see them very well but this is the orange bell got a lot of foliage there and we're starting to get some nice flowers up top on the orange bell. Um, this is the Serrano right here, this tall guy with the nice thick uh, stalk and a decent sized fork in it. I was hoping for more forks, but um, we're not seeing any. Uh, oh, look, yep, we are. We are right there. Just the start of what might turn into some blooms. And then hopefully some pods, but the Serrano was a little late to the party as far as getting going. Here's my little tragedy cow horn right here. When the cat came in, I thought it just ate the tie hots. No, nope, it ate my cow horn. So I kind of clipped it and snipped it. And right here, we're starting to see some new growth on the cow horn. So it's going to take a while to, to get back in business. And the tie hots over there, that was just a stick before. It's now got quite a bit of new growth on it. And we got the habaneros all over here, the chocolate hobs and the organic hobs all along the back side. And then we get down here and we've got the chocolate brain right here. And we've got the caramel devil's tongue right here. And they are looking fantastic. And in these cups we have, uh, well, these cups, we have the sugar rush peach and what's going on what's growing on in here we've got one little ground breaker right there that's the first sign of poppage that we've got yet got one little one just breaking soil out of uh, two in each cup so that's eight sugar rush peach we got one popped and then over here I've got red sweets uh, from Brando that I just put in the ground on the 19th so they are not popped yet and be putting some more varieties out soon as soon as these guys go outside uh, they'll be repotted into uh, bigger pots with soil and that'll make the cups available for more little guys and as they keep getting bigger they'll get repotted I'll probably repot this um, organic hob right here because he's looking really strong and tall and then uh, make that cup available for some new strains, some new varieties. So that's what's growing on in my neck of the woods. Um, really trying to produce a lot more. I still am not doing any um, other vegetables until 
uh, probably May 1st. Gonna get the cucumbers, the tomatoes, um, things of that nature. I do have the carrots still over here that are hanging on. <laughs> I don't know how they're doing, but they're hanging in there. They haven't died off yet. But that is the update on the pepper garden. Just really excited to see a couple little couple little pods happening in amongst all this stuff. And a nice big one over here. Yeah. So just exciting growth happening in the old uh, walrus grill room down here. Hopefully we'll start seeing a lot more things happen when we finally get outside to some sunlight. And that is all for now. Thanks everybody for watching. Uh, I want you to hit that like button, the big thumbs up. Leave a comment if you like what you see. Hopefully tonight I'll be out uh, catching night crawlers for uh, fishing and also maybe some salamanders if I can get my hands on any more. Um, <laughs> after further research on that one that I said didn't look like a, a redback woodland, it's not. It's actually a Jefferson salamander. So that was pretty cool to find a different variety in my area. The Jefferson salamander. I was really happy to catch that and find it and release it back into the wild where it can do its business of eating grubs and uh, small insects and things like that. So really happy to see that, catch that, and release that. But thanks everybody. Um, leave a comment if you'd like. Hit that thumbs up or thumbs down. It counts the same. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, hit that big red subscribe button so that you can see any new updates and hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when a new video pops up. Like I said, hopefully i um, be doing a few more videos back to back. And don't forget to tune in to Revtoast TV live stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I'll be on the chat tonight. Um, as well as some other great chili heads. And we will be uh, seeing what the topic is to talk about tonight. So thanks everybody for watching. Make today the best you can just by you being a part of it. Happy trails everybody.